System control, truck 109. T-109, go ahead. Because damage may be widespread during storms and other disasters, it's important to be able to respond to any damage quickly and safely. Therefore, companies often have special emergency plans in place to make sure that their employees can deal with the typical problems and conditions likely to be encountered. In this program, we're going to take a look at some of the conditions that tend to make troubleshooting overhead lines under emergency conditions different from normal troubleshooting. Some of these conditions may include additional safety hazards, the scope of the damage, and the type of repairs that are made. We'll also take a look at how communications between the trouble man and the dispatcher are often handled differently during an emergency. Finally, We'll follow along as a trouble man works with the dispatcher and other company crews to prioritize repairs. Of course, the specific emergency plans, communication networks, and troubleshooting methods shown in this program are only meant to be used as examples to demonstrate the principles involved. The methods that you use may be different depending on your company's policies, procedures, and equipment. Be sure that you're thoroughly familiar with the emergency troubleshooting methods that you'll be expected to use and follow them carefully. They are the product of years of experience in troubleshooting emergency outages in your system. When the weather service storm alert was given, the dispatcher began preparing for possible storm damage by alerting crews that severe weather was approaching and that they should be prepared to stand by. While he's standing by, the trouble man checks over the equipment and material on his truck. Since this storm is coming in at night, it's especially important to have enough of the right kinds of lights for work, for patrolling lines, and for protecting the work area. The adverse weather and the dark will cut down on visibility and generally make working more hazardous. He knows that his basic goal is the same as normal troubleshooting. Get the most customers back online as quickly as possible. However, during an emergency, the types of problems will be different, the physical conditions will be different, and the way communication is handled will be different.